Hi besties and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend with your loved ones and had a lovely Easter for those of you that celebrate it. I did have a great Easter, spent it with the family and then last night I did have dinner. I had a date night with the hubby so that was amazing too and I'm so excited for today's video because I will actually be comparing the Crisette and the Alma BB because I have gotten a lot of questions regarding these two right here. Which one do I think is better? Which one should you purchase? Which one can fit more? So I will be answering all that. And then towards the end, stick around because I will be telling you all which handbag I do prefer. I will try to be as unbiased as possible because you all know that I do love my Alma babies, but I do also love the Crisette. So nothing against her, I promise. But if you're new here, don't forget to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, let's be friends, let's connect. I love handbags, style, fashion, all of those things. So first I will start with just general pricing information. I know that there's been price increases and I know that won't be the last. So let's start with the Crisette. So the Crisette is going for $1,960 US dollars and this baby right here comes in the Damier Azure canvas, and it also comes in the Damier Event canvas. Then we have the Alma BB in the classic monogram, and this one is currently going for $1,760. Now, the Alma BB comes in so many colors, but it also comes in the Damier Event canvas, and of course, it just launched in the Damier Azure canvas. If you haven't seen my unboxing on the Damier Azure canvas Alma BB, I posted the link down below so you can, I invite you all to watch that. Just from looking at them, and the tassel totally hit my face, just from looking at them, you can see that they're very similar in size, and they are. They really, really are. They just have slight differences here and there. So, they both have, in length, they have 9.8 inches. So, if I compare them, if you see here, they are exactly the same. It's the same length. So the Alma BB is actually, the height of it is 7.5 inches, while the, the height of the Crisette is 6.7. So they're still fairly close in, you know, the height as well. And now it's the depth. So, as you can see in the depth here, it's very clear that the Alma BB is wider. So the Alma BB is 4.7 inches wide, while the Crisette is 3.7 inches wide. Not a huge difference, but to the naked eye, honestly, it, it does look like a big difference to me. So again, they have the same length. The Alma is a little taller and it's also wider than the Crisette. Okay, so that is one thing to consider. Now, as you can see, this one is the Damier Azure canvas, which means that you have to be careful with the canvas and color transfer because with this canvas, it's one of those that you just have to baby. And they do both have the Vachetta leather, right? Even though the Crisette, the positive is that the Crisette only has this part here, the top handle, the tassel, which is removable. And also the little rings here, they have Vachetta leather. Other than that, everything else is canvas. Now, if we go, oh, that's another thing. She can't stand. And that gets annoying sometimes because even when I'm putting her up there, it's such a mission for her, like to put her in a certain position that she won't fall. So it's like, I, yeah, she's, she's dumb guys, <laughs> sorry. So this one has the handles, Vachetta. This part here is Vachetta. The tag is Vachetta, but the whole bottom of it is also Vachetta. So this needs to be baby too, because you need to protect the Vachetta leather from water stains and just stains in general. Uh, if you spill something on it 
or maybe pen marks or with a marker, lotion and hand sanitizer, you have to be very careful. So, yeah, they both have the cheddar, but this one has more than the Crisette. So that is a positive for the Crisette. Now, as you can see, opening this Alma is easy. Okay, it does come with a non-adjustable Vachetta strap. And opening the Crisette, it's just like so. You squeeze these two and it opens. And it also comes with a non-adjustable Vachetta strap. However, the strap of the Crisette is a lot thicker than the strap of the Alma. If you can see the difference on camera. This strap is a lot stronger than the one from the Alma BB. Now, and even the rings, there's a difference in the rings too. So, with that being said, opening and closing here, no problems, super easy. So it's a lot easier in my opinion to get to things, you know, if you're in line at, at the supermarket or at the mall and you need to get to your wallet, all you have to do is just open the zipper and you grab what you need. With a Crisette, yes, it opens fast, right? But you have to open the flap, look for what you want. And then the tricky part here is closing it. So it took me a while when I first got this handbag to figure out how to close it. The one that actually figured it out was my husband. So if you just put it in there like that, it's not gonna close. So you're gonna be walking around with your bag open pretty much, okay? You have to act, like there's a certain way to close it so your bag doesn't open. And basically, and I showed this in my, in my review of the Crisette, the video, so I'll link them below too. So I do show a close up of how, how you'll know when it's closed because you'll hear that click. And so basically, once you insert that in there, you kind of have to push it to the right a little bit. And you heard that click, and now your bag is closed. If not, then your bag is just gonna stay open. See? So that is honestly a negative that I <laughs> that I see for the Crisette. Now, we spoke about pricing, we spoke about dimension, the structure, as you can see, the structure of the Alma, for me, it just works. I can literally place it anywhere, and I'm not gonna have an issue, it's not gonna tip over unless I tip it myself. But the Crisette will just be face down, right? So, that's, a positive for the Alma. I'm trying to be as fair and as unbiased as possible. Now I will show you the interior of each so you can see. So there is, this is an espresso color interior and it does have that little pocket here and that's it. There's no more pockets. That's pretty much the interior of it. That's the Alma. Now, for the Crisette, you have this big compartment here, and then you also have another, and then you also have another pocket. So the interior is pretty similar because they both have a large compartment and then they have a smaller pocket. Now, which of these fits more items in there? I will actually try to stuff as much as I can the same items though to both of these. And I will be showing you all exactly what I'm placing in there. You'll see which one can fit all the items. You'll see which one cannot fit all the items. And also, which one will be easier to carry? Will one be heavier than the other? So, I will get started with that now. By the way, before I do show you all that, these handbags can basically be worn the same way. You have the handle, so you can just hold it like so or you can just put it on your arm, and then you have the strap. So you can wear it on your shoulder, you can wear it crossbody, whichever works for you. So with that, that's, they're pretty much the same. They can be worn the same way, and none of them have any pockets 
or any compartments on the outside. So that's another thing that they're just, they have in common. Okay guys, so these are the items that I will be inserting in both bags. I will start off with, I have my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have the case for my eyeglasses for those days that I don't want to use my contacts. I have my sunglasses. I have hand sanitizer. I have three lipsticks. I have the Rosalie wallet, the Rectoversal wallet, the Louis Vuitton on front leather card holder, the Chanel card holder. I have a pack of gum and I have my AirPods. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Alma. I'll leave my phone for last just so I can grab it easily. But I'll start with the case for my glasses, my eyeglasses. Then I'll go with my Sunnies. Rosalie wallet. Card holder. Recto Verso. Other card holder. Pack of gum. Hand sanitizer. My AirPods. Three lipsticks. Let's see. I'm not sure if my phone will fit in here, actually. Again, I wouldn't carry all these things in my bag. I'm just trying to show you how much I can fit in each to see, to show you which one fits more. I have the largest iPhone. So let me try to stick that in. Okay, so it will close, right? But it's pretty, pretty stuffed. As you can see there from the side, Okay, I think I got it now, guys. Let's see. Okay. So, yes, my phone did fit in there. It's really heavy. It is pretty, pretty heavy. I would not be able to carry this without the strap crossbody. Just so I can have that balanced weight distribution and it'll be easier to carry. But it's really, really heavy with everything I put in here. Now, let's take all those things out. And try with the Crisette. What do you guys think? Do you think I'll be able to fit all this in the Crisette? Knowing the dimensions of the bag and the structure and yeah, let's see guys. I actually didn't try this before the video. So I'm curious to see if we can fit everything in there. Okay, so she's empty. Let's place her here. Again, I'll leave my phone for last. So let's start with the case for my glasses. Okay, we'll put the sunnies next. Let's put Recto Verso in here. Rosalie, let me see, in here. Card holder, other card holder. It's already getting stuffed. Yeah, I don't think. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I may have to sacrifice a few items. My phone's not going to fit in here at all. Actually, I may not even be able to put my AirPods or my lipstick. Or my, well, I put one lipstick there. Two lipsticks, okay. That's not gonna fit. Okay. So. Well. Let's see if it's gonna close. So guys, my phone does not fit. Again, this is the 13 Pro Max. It, it doesn't fit. As you can see, it is very, very stuffed and it's even like stretched out. Let's see if it will even 
Oh, it, is it going to close? Okay. So it closed. The weight of it, honestly, it's the same. It's pretty much the same weight. Again, you would want to use it with the crossbody strap. But as you can see, it does look a little stretched out. I'm just a little sad that my phone didn't fit, but that's okay. As you can see, everything's in there. It, it, she is stretched out, guys. Oh, look, she's actually standing, guys. I think once you put a little weight in her, she'll like kind of, you know, be able to stand on her own. Okay, but if she's empty and there's nothing in there, there's no way she's just going to keep falling face down. So, after all the information that I provided to all of you, which I do hope this does help some of you, I believe that the Alma is a better choice. And I'm not just saying that because I love Almas. I'm saying that because it's just the structure. You can fit more items if you need it to. And it, it is such a classic and timeless piece from Louis Vuitton that will never go out of style. Not saying the Crisset will, but another thing to be mindful of is this specific canvas, the color transfer, and yeah, I, I do think that this one is more sturdy, it can fit more, and it's easier to reach for your things too. Not only that, but you are saving money as well because this one's $17.60 and this one is $19.60. So there you're saving $200 and you do have a lot more options with this one too. And there are differences in pricing as well. So <laughs> I would pick the Alma. Now I still love my Crozette. I still use her all the time, honestly. I hope that this video was helpful to all of you. I do love these bags so much, but I will be going with my Alma because yeah, I'm a BB obsessed. I'm a BB lover, but please let me know down in the comments if you agree with my verdict. And also, if you feel like this video was helpful for you and you enjoyed it, please don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of you for your continued love and support. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye, guys.